So for our next dish, we're gonna showcase our new tuna tartare. Uh, not yet on the menu, so a little sneak peek. This dish kind of started around flavors that surround a beef tartare. Uh, we start off on the plate with a little bit of tonado sauce, or essentially a, a tuna aioli or mayo. We then have our raw tuna, which we've mixed with a little bit of lemon vinaigrette, some shallots, and a little bit of chive, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of sea salt. With the two tuna products on this dish, we're really trying to emphasize uh, the versatility that you have in tuna. So next on the dish, we're gonna kinda incorporate some of those flavors from that beef tartare that we talked about. So we've kinda presented them a little differently. We have sliced caper berries, and we've shaved our cornichons, just to kinda make them a little more fun to play with. But when you can kinda shape it and bend it a little bit, it's more fun to look at, and from my standpoint, it's a little more fun to plate with. We're gonna add some nice peppery watercress to the dish, just kinda pick random little pluches from this. Garnish it with a little bit of scallion threads. Some little crispy croutons for crunch. I like to add a little bit so you get it all in one bite. Now we're just gonna finish with a little bit of cured egg yolk. Now uh, we've cured this in some chopped up capers, a little salt and a little sugar uh, for about five days. Uh, it draws out all the moisture and you have this kind of rubbery egg yolk. And that, we just kind of grate over the top. In this case, you know, I kind of melded my idea of you know, some of the flavors of a beef tartare and then mixed it with you know, something that I wanted to do with fish, which was tuna tartare. You know, I think when you're using beef, you have, you know, with the tartare, you might use tenderloin, which is very similar in texture to, I think, a, a nice piece of tuna. Um, and so the, not only would it eat kind of the same as, as a beef tartare, but it also kind of gives the appearance of a beef tartare as well with all the flavors and such. But we've slightly skewed the flavors uh, towards a more pescatarian friendly uh, standpoint.